guys welcome back to my channel so for today I've got another comparison video so I'm gonna be comparing the Fenty Beauty setting powder with the Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake powder so we're gonna be seeing how they compare in terms of their price the wearability how they feel the consistency so we're just gonna jump right into this tutorial this is what the packaging looks like really nice so this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder claims to be super fine weightless and it's a loose setting powder really really cute package and this is the Huda Beauty easy bake loose powder this is what the packaging looks like so this is the Huda Beauty easy bake loose powder it says it's an easy to use loose powder for setting for baking so we'll see how this feels as well so in terms of packaging Fenty looks really cute Huda looks really nice as well actually like the Fenty is really unique so I love Fenty packaging this is just so nice a lot of product in here the Fenty Beauty has 28 grams and the Huda Beauty has um, 20 and in terms of price the Fenty Beauty is 24 pounds and the Huda Beauty is 28 pounds less product more and this is more product uh less money so this 24 pounds and this is 28 pounds so in terms of the shade range the fenty has got like eight shades and the same with the huda beauty so they both have a nice range to to choose from so, so huda beauty claims to be for baking and it, it's a setting powder as well as a baking the fenty beauty is really more of a setting powder as opposed to the, the huda beauty that is for baking so that's a key point to note just open them to see how they look like so, so for the Fenty Beauty I've got the shade um, Honey so I've got Honey for the Fenty Beauty and I got the shade Canofa so Honey and Canofa those are the kind of shade I got for myself so for the Fenty Beauty one this is what it looks like it's like not really true yellow but it's, it's a mix of yellow and beige and the Huda Beauty it's um, true yellow. The Canofa is uh, more like a yellow um, powder. So I got the shade Canofa for the F Huda Beauty and for Fenty I got the shade Honey. The Fenty Beauty has got like a hole um, for the powder to come in in here. It's got like some small holes in there. While the Huda Beauty I've got like a nice mesh. So it's got like a mesh, like a nice mesh for the powder to come out from really nice um, mesh there it's quite unique because it's not uh, the usual so this is what they both look like the Huda Beauty is more of a, a yellowish yellowy one while the Fenty one which is in the shade Honey is a mix of maybe beige and yellow so it's not too it's not fully yellow in terms of the shade the Huda Beauty has got a scent very nice perfumey kind of scent Fenty Beauty has got a scent as well, but it's not perfumey, so it's not very uh, strong. The Huda Beauty has got a proper nice, you know, if you like a perfume scent to it. Yeah, I love it actually. I love the scent. Nice if you like perfume type of scent. And the Fenty, the Fenty is not as strong the scent as the Huda Beauty, so it's it's a bit subtle. Yeah, it's a bit subtle the scent. There's the Huda Beauty. And this is the Fenty one. They both look, they both feel finely milled. I'm just gonna go right into the application. I'm just gonna zoom you in. So I've already got my foundation on. I used the Maybelline foundation in the shade um, Cocoa and Caramel. I'm gonna be using this concealer, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45. So I'm just gonna jump right into applying the concealer under my eyes. gonna blend with my root technique sponge it's a damp sponge I'm just gonna start by blending this side Fenty on this side Huda on this side 
So I'm going to be using my Red Technic sponge to apply it. So I'm going to be using this pink one for the Fenty Beauty and I'll be using this purple for the uh, Huda Beauty one. Quickly blend, just in case there's any crease. I'm applying the Fenty. I think I applied too much, but I'm just tapping it in to the skin. Just tapping, tapping it into the skin. I like the way it applies, it's really um, just blended into the skin nicely. So this is the Fenty side, I'm just tapping it in and it really feels nice on the skin. It just blended in nicely. So this is the Fenty side done. Use this to apply the Huda Beauty. I'm just quickly gonna blend. This is the Huda Beauty applied. Um, the Uda Beauty is quite lightweight, it's really finely milled. Um, just on applying it, I feel it's really light on the skin. The Fenty is a bit heavier, so I just do the same thing like I did with the Fenty. I'm just pushing it in, so I'm pressing it into the skin. That's the Huda Beauty done, and this is the Fenty one. This is the Huda, and this is the Fenty. What do you think, guys? I must confess, I like the Huda side. I like the way it just melted in. And at the Huda Beauty side, because it's so lightweight, it looks like it just covered up, it's not as heavy on the skin. So it doesn't um, emphasize the lines or the bags under the eyes. So that's the application done, guys. I'll do the rest of my face and come back with my final thoughts on this too. So I've kind of finished the rest of my makeup. So in terms of my final views, I used the um, Fenty, just to recap, I used the Fenty hair and I used the Huda Beauty hair. So in terms of the application, they both applied okay. Fenty Beauty is finely milled. The Huda Beauty is finely made, but the Huda Beauty appears to be more finely milled because it's lighter, it's just smooth, smoother, as opposed to the Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty was really nice, so it, it's heavy, it's a bit heavy as compared to the Huda Beauty. So it's finely milled, it's lovely to set um, under the eyes, but it's uh, in, in comparison to Huda, Huda is really lightweight. When you put Huda on, it's like you don't feel it. It's really lightweight. But Fenty, you can you can feel it. N not too heavy, but it's there. Okay, so I think I prefer the Huda Beauty um, side just because it's so lightweight. I don't know. What do you guys think? So this is Fenty and this is Huda. I've been using this too for a while now and the book control are about the same way. I won't choose any over, it's just the finely milled. I prefer Huda because it's lighter and this is a bit heavy. So this is really good for all over the face and this is for under the eyes, especially if you want to bake. So I did not bake today. They both give a nice matte finish. In terms of price, Fenty would win it for the price because Fenty is more, um, it's £24, Huda Beauty is £28. Fenty Beauty, the packaging, I love the packaging more than Huda Beauty. I do like the net in the Huda Beauty. In terms of my final views on this, I like both powders. Um, I prefer Huda Beauty because it's really light and it covers up. It doesn't Because it's so lightweight, it doesn't emphasize the lines too much. It doesn't emphasize the under eye circle too much. You know, it hides it a bit because it's lightweight. But because this is a bit heavy, it's not as flawless as the Huda Beauty. And um, but for price, Fenty would 
do the job as well so i've got fenty and i use it all over the face i also use it under the eyes for under the eyes specifically who do fenty i would uh, recommend all over the face so that's it for this video guys i hope you found it helpful what do you think have you got a fenty have you got a huda are you thinking of getting one comment down below and if you're new to my channel press on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you see more videos like this thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one Bye.